for any of you who've watched my videos on how to uh, create an office in your garden uh, for as cheap as possible and to insulate it and heat it for as cheap as possible to be environmentally friendly, that's the main driver really, but of course costs do come into it as well. This is the next stage, it's actually heating the office. Now, I wanted to go for the cheapest option and the most cost-effective long-term option for heating the office. As I said before, really heating your office is dependent really on the insulation that you've done. Do the groundwork, really insulate your office as much as possible, carpet, insulation, paneling, anything you can do, drafts, curtains, double glazing, anything really to stop the heat from escaping. I found this fantastic little heater. It's a 400 watt panel convection bathroom heater but you can use it anywhere. It covers about seven square meters of floor space for heat. Uh, I've just got the box now, I'm quite excited. Bit of an energy geek, I'm afraid. But um, it's great, I've done a lot of research online. It's got some great ratings. Um, it can be mounted on the wall. Um, I'm gonna go for the little feet, as you can see there. I'm gonna fix it up and mount it on its feet. But this little thing is absolutely brilliant. It really is, um, well, I think, I hope it is. I haven't tried it yet, but in terms of heating, 400 watts, it's so cheap to heat. I'll do the calculations later on, but I'm aiming for about five pence, which is about eight cents per hour to heat this. Um, coupled with the fact that my um, office, as you've seen, I've seen before in the previous videos, is it's well insulated. It's also south facing, so I get the solar thermal heat coming in. So I should only really need it in the depth of winter and uh, for the early mornings in the cold spring and autumn. Now this uh, is well rated um, in terms of 400 watts of energy. Um, Freestanding, as I said before, or wall mounted. It fits perfectly into many different types of room, offices, bathrooms, that kind of thing. It uses an advanced aluminium heating element that quickly heats up and transfers heat across the room. So the element has been specifically designed, they tell us, to heat up quickly and cool down slowly, providing residual heat even after the heater has been switched off. It's got a thermostat, adjustable thermostat, that maintains the temperature at my own chosen level. Um, it's also got silent operation, there's no noise, so if you're working as well on telephones and Skyping and that kind of thing, you haven't got a whirring noise in the background, which could be off-putting. White, nice and easy. Um, it's also got um, IP24 rating, making it safe for installation into bathrooms, supplied with uh, free and uh, wall-mounted brackets for versatile installation. It's also safer for children over the age of eight, apparently. Uh, it's got emergency cutoff as well, for any problems, for any safety issues. Um, what else has it got? I've got it off Amazon. I've got one off Amazon. I paid about £38, which is about $42 US dollars. So it is very cost effective. And compared to other heaters, which you're looking at 1,200 watts, 2,000 uh, watts per, you know, to, to, to heat, you're talking about sort of 25, 50 pence an hour compared to about sort of five or six pence. But I said I'll do the, do the calculations later on. Slimline design as well. Um, it's also ideal for people like myself who are conscious of any expenses, energy consumption uh, with this aluminium um, heating element. So I'm going to put it together. I'm going to test out the uh, energy efficiency with my energy efficiency monitor. As you can see inside, the aluminium grill, fix one foot. You take the uh, screw off from here and put another screw in there from these feet here. It's quite easy to do, just need a Phillips screwdriver. I mean, it doesn't really matter which heater you buy, but I think just do your research. If money and energy efficiency aren't an option for you, on a problem, then it doesn't really matter what you heat your office with. But my intention has been all along to make my office as carbon neutral as possible. I don't want to, um, have an office which is just you know using up energy left right and center just because i'm interested in the environment i'm interested in conserving energy i'm interested in trying to um let's get that screw in there it's not very easy filming and screwing at the same time excuse the pun right there you go another screw in there but yes i said before it really it doesn't matter it's up to you what you do but if you're watching this video Possibly you are interested in energy conservation, 
saving money with the energy. If you're working at home a lot, you have to take an account of the costs of your office space, really. You want to keep your costs as low as possible to maximise your profits. Energy and that kind of thing does come into account, really. So there we go. Neat little thing. I'm going to plug it in now. I'm going to see how much it takes to uh, heat it up. The moment of truth. Right. I'm going to plug it. It's actually plugged in, as you can see. I plugged it in. It's actually turned off at the moment. There's the thermostatic control on the uh, left. Let me just focus it a bit more on that one. Right. The focus isn't very good. I'm sorry about that. Right. Turn it on. As you can see from my um, monitor there, it's around about sort of three. My usage for the home is about 0.335 kilowatts, 335 watts. That's my average uh, cost at the moment. The television's on in the front room and there's the freezers and things, that sort of thing at the moment. So that's what it is at the moment. I'm going to turn the heating on. And if I just watch the monitor as I turn it on to see how much it goes up by. There you are, 680. I can put it up to maximum. So it is now on max. You can see that there. And we're up to 680. So the previous it was 330. So it is actually just hitting just under 400 watts. The heat, oh gosh, yeah, that's coming out already. That's That's pretty good. I'm going to move it into the office and we'll do some sort of temperature checks in there and see what it, what it does. I think leave it on for about an hour or so to heat up the space. But yes, that's about uh, just under 400 watts, isn't it? Which is pretty good. Yeah, it's coming really well now. It's feeling good. Chucking out some heat there. You can see in there. So light as well, really light. Nice, neat little thing. I mean, you could have a couple if you wanted to. If your office was quite big, mine is only five square meters. And I said before, it's quite well thermal, um, insulated. And I've got the solar thermal coming in when the sun's out. It is not out today, as you can see. It's pretty horrible. But we'll try it and see how it goes. The heat has been on about an hour now. Uh, the door's closed, sealed up, as you may have seen in previous videos. Look at the bolt on. There's um, draft excluders, that kind of thing. There's no other heat in the room, as you can see. No other heat sources, apart from me and the laptop. But it's been on for an hour. It is on oh, just under maximum. So it's using just on about 3, 320, 320 watts, 320 watts. The temperature is, and outside is, I promise you, very very wet it's about oh, 10 11 degrees out there it's a bit steamy actually as you can see it is horrible it's really cold it's beginning of march in the uk we had snow last week it's been seven degrees max this week about 11 today but in here it is 21 degrees it was up to 25 just now but a bit hot so I turned the uh, heating down about 20 minutes ago, but it's up to 21. And that's with the insulation, which I said before is key. And this small 400 watt heater, which is costing, well, I'll put the cost at the end anyway within the video, but it's cheap. It's cheap to run. I think I'm running the heating, say about uh, a seven or eight hour shift in here. Um, it's going to work out about, well, it's well under a pound anyway, about 50 pence probably. But it's cheap. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to look on the internet. Check out Amazon, eBay, anything really, you know, local um, local people, local uh, shops and things. Look at what you can get for your money and think about the long-term benefits as well in terms of cost over the year um, for your, uh, you know, heating your office. But as I said before, insulation is the key really. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.